Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to analyze past year paper questions and the distribution of questions for gate 4 technology. I'm also going to talk about a special book that can help you with the preparation of gate life sciences if you are a 4 technology student, but more on that later. First, let's talk about an overview of the subjects in the life sciences. So as you can see, we have a beautiful description of uh, the division of the different subjects into life sciences and let's see a tabular form about it okay so we have the different subjects for example we have here the general aptitude which has 15 marks the chemistry portion 25 marks so basically the general aptitude and chemistry is mandatory in life sciences and then we have two other subjects which are going to be optional and i believe that of course, if you are a food technology student, you are going to choose one of the optional subject as food technology. The other confusion usually people have, the students have, is that whether we should go with biochemistry, botany, zoology, microbiology, and uh, whether choosing one over the other is going to give, give them some kind of advantage or is one uh, subject required for a specific college. So no, that is not true. You could choose biochemistry or microbiology depending on your inclination, your interest and your strength so strength is important and if you are studying food technology you would have uh, biochemistry or microbiology as one of the subject especially food microbiology so if you if you felt that you your strength is biochemistry you can go ahead with that or you could go ahead with microbiology but we we are trying to maximize your number so go ahead with the strength now the subjects that we have are basically chemistry so section p is the chemistry section and this is a mandatory section as i mentioned it will have 15 questions and the total marks are 25. this section is also going to have some numerical answer type questions and uh, paper is of course going to have a general aptitude section and this is usually a scoring section but do not ignore this one because you can definitely score in this one apart from chemistry the candidates will have to choose as I mentioned, so you have the choice of these five subjects, food technology, biochemistry, zoology, botany, microbiology. You would have to choose two subjects out of these. So each of the sections from Q to U will consist of 20 questions carrying total 30 marks. So we are going to talk about uh, these Q to U. So these basically Q to U are naming of the uh, sections of life sciences and these Q to U section suggests that these are food technology biochemistry zoology botany and microbiology we are going to talk about the marks distribution so don't worry about that uh, let us move on to the next slide and that is we are talking about the marks distribution okay so the mass distribution for the life sciences we have general aptitude and there is going to be one mark question there are going to be five one mark questions so the total marks are five for that and five two mark questions that comes out to be 10 marks so total 15 marks the chemistry which is a compulsory section again uh, it's kind of similar but here we have a, a 10 additional 10 marks additional weightage we have five questions of one mark and 10 questions of two marks so total is 25 and from section q to u this is going to be a 30 mark section each section is 30 mark section so we have 10 questions of one mark each and 10 questions of 20 mark each so that gives us 30 marks in total for the individual optional subject. Now, of course, there is negative marking. So do not uh, take this lightly that, but let us talk about the marking scheme in a little depth, okay? So MCQs, we have one mark for each correct answer and you will be deducted one by three if the answer is wrong. And some MCQs uh, which have two marks you will get two marks for the correct answer and two by three will be deducted for the incorrect response okay but for the numerical answer type questions and nat questions you won't have any negative marking so that is kind of an advantage but people are kind of uh, stressed about them but don't worry because they can be mastered with practice okay now let us take an overview of the question distribution of food technology section specifically okay so this is the distribution of food technology section and uh, we have food engineering, food processing, food chemistry, and food microbiology. These are the kind of four pillars of food technology. And as you can see, there is not a specific pattern, first of all. And I want to highlight that in this specific slide because do not expect that, okay, we, we had, for example, food microbiology. Uh, maybe there were three questions, so maybe I should not focus on food microbiology 
or maybe there were more questions from food engineering so i should focus on that of course past paper analysis analysis is to give you some kind of idea but it does not mean that the same pattern will be repeated so in the ideal case scenario i would not recommend you to leave out anything because of course food technology you have the uh, specialization in food technology if you are a food technology student so do not uh, leave any area in food technology at least because maybe you you don't have any strength in biochemistry microbiology but try to maximize the number these 30 marks from the food technology section okay for example in 2014 there were 13 questions from food engineering but in 2011 there were four questions from food engineering so it does not mean that uh, it's going to stay constant so they try to vary the the people who are setting the question paper they try to vary it as you can see from this distribution and uh, it's important to note that you must also be aware that there are different types of question formats okay so they, this is the distribution but the format is going to vary as well there is mcq there is matching type there is numerical answer type so let me move to the next slide and show you a distribution of the type of question of the food technology section so this is the type of question that have been asked in the last 10 years and as you can see that there are mcqs but they are matching type as well for example in 2014 uh, there were 12 matching type questions and in in the recent year 2021 there were 17 questions for the mcq and just one numerical and two matching type so they try to vary it as you can see again but it gives us a good idea that uh, there could be a, a decent blend of the three types but one of them could be having the maximum weightage as well so don't try to ignore it of course it becomes easier for you once you practice the different type of questions now in 2014 total 19 marks from numerical sections and out of it six marks questions came only from the momentum transfer topic okay so out of all the topics so basically this is a highlight about 2014 out of all the topics maximum marks questions came from thermal operations topic so that means you don't have to ignore thermal operations okay heat and mass transfer thermal operations you name it you don't have to ignore that one now let us dive a little deeper into food engineering topics because it has been a major contributor okay except for 2020 it has been a major contributor in most of the exams okay so these are the food engineering topic we have divided all of them as you can see there is enzyme kinetics microbial growth kinetics milk and milk product processing and so on you can read them for yourself i'm not going to read them all so some important points that i want to highlight because i'm not going to read one two three over here but food engineering has been a major contributor so don't ignore food engineering that is my recommendation because except for 2020 uh, and you can see here in 2021 that we only had from heat transfer right but don't ignore food engineering because this is a major contributor and uh, numerical type questions and matching type questions from majority of the question type so numerical type and don't be afraid of numerical type the more you practice the better you will get and uh, heat transfer mass balance fluid flow microbial growth enzyme kinetics are the top five topics in which numerical questions comes okay so these top five topics if you de uh, if you practice them if you understand their concept you can practice their questions and you can get ahead as well in 2021 there was only one numerical problem now when i was a student it was a challenge for me to find the right textbooks for studies and i have seen even now students in the food technology community struggle with finding the right material to crack competitive examinations such as gate but the good news for the aspirants of gate life sciences is that mr sanjeev kumar sharma mr lohit kumar and dr ashwini sharma have crafted a book for you whatever i just talked about the analysis that i was talking about right now all of that is present in this book and let me briefly touch upon that what this book is going to cover so here are some of the salient features and uh, this is going to cover the past question paper from 2011 so the last 10 year paper which which gives you a good understanding that what is gate all about and what type of questions are being asked there are more than 1800 multiple choice questions from food technology biochemistry botany microbiology and zoology and there are more than 350 numerical type questions so you don't have to worry and uh, go to different resources for practicing the numerical ability questions you can just 
get this book and practice the numerical questions and there are 50 tables for quick revision and you can use these revisions they usually come in handy when there is just one month left so i i definitely hope that this is definitely going to help you out if you buy this book now and there are more than 100 matching type questions as well so you will get a pretty good understanding of uh, gate if you practice it thoroughly if you practice from this book thoroughly and uh, you can buy it you can buy this book from amazon it's available not only on amazon it is also available on flipkart and i have provided the link to purchase this book in the description you can check that out and uh, i hope that the analysis of the past two papers and uh, question distribution will help you out in your gate exam preparation and uh, i will see you next time class dismissed